The following question uh, reads that two glass vessels M and N are connected by a closed valve. Uh, so these two containers are connected together. M contains helium at 20 degrees centigrade at a pressure of 1, in, one into 10 by 5 pascals. Uh, so M contains uh, these gases over here. So helium over here at 20 degrees centigrade and a pressure of 1 into 10 by 5 pascals. On the other hand, this container N has been evacuated and has three times the volume of M. Uh, so uh, if this has volume V, let's have this volume as V, then this one, this side would have a volume three times that, so it's going to be 3V. And as three times the volume of M, in an experiment, the valve is open and the temperature of the whole apparatus is raised to 100 degrees centigrade. So they're changing the temperature. Initially, it was 20 degrees centigrade. Now it's 100 degrees centigrade. And you're being asked, what is the final pressure of the system? So we need to figure out the pressure of the system once the valve has been opened. And two changes have happened. And one is that temperature has changed 20 to 100. And the other thing is the volume would be changed now because now the valve has opened and the gas is now occupying the entire volume. Now, one way you can solve this question is that initially uh, all the particles of helium were in this, in this tiny vessel over here. And the other one was empty. So the moles of helium, let's call them X moles, uh, they were uh, fixed. You're not adding any moles. So initially, all the moles were occupying this container. And once the valve had opened and you had increased the temperature as well, the particles had spread out. And they are now occupying both containers. So the moles of helium, before you made all the changes and after you made all the changes, they're going to be exactly the same. Uh, helium initially trapped in this container at 20 degrees centigrade and now helium would be occupying this entire container but the temperature would now be 100 degrees centigrade. So I'm going to apply the ideal gas equation uh, and I'm going to apply it before I've made all the changes before I increase the temperature. So applying PV is equal to NRT. The pressure that was given was 1 into 10 to the power 5 pascals. So that was the pressure. The volume that was given was, I'm using the volume V because I don't know what the volume is. It's not given mentioned over here. The only thing that's mentioned is that this has a volume of V and the other container has a volume of 3V. So I'm going to use uh, volume V. I'm going to multiply it by, multiplying it by V. Uh, N number of moles, not known. So I'm going to keep that as N. R is a constant. It's always a constant. And the temperature that's used is 20 degrees centigrade. So initially all the gas is trapped in this tiny container. So the temperature that's used is 20, which would translate as 293 Kelvins. Remember to keep uh, the temperature in terms of Kelvins. Uh, that's the ideal gas equation. Temperature, it's always mentioned in Kelvins. So this is my ideal gas equation. And I'm going to make N the subject of the equation because I want to find, the, find out the moles of N that are present. So this over here is the expression that I'm getting. It's uh, 1 times 10 power 5 pascals into V divided by R into 293. So these are my moles of helium gas that I have in this container. Now I'm making the changes. I've opened the valve. Now the gas is occupying this entire container and I've increased the temperature to 100 degrees centigrade. So I'm going to apply PV0 NRT again now. So applying PV0 NRT again. Uh, the first thing is I need to figure out the final pressure. I don't know what the pressure is. So the P is unknown. So P over here is unknown. I'm going to multiply it by the volume. I know the volume. Now the gas is occupying this entire container. So it's going to be V plus 3V. So it's going to be 4V. The volume that's occupied initially, it was only occupying this container because the wall wasn't open over here. Now it's occupying this entire container. So the volume now is, it's, in, it's occupying the entire thing. So the volume now is 4V. The number of moles N is still unknown. Uh, R is the gas constant. So it's pretty much going to be the same value. And uh, T is now 100 degrees centigrade. So it's uh, given as 100 deg degrees centigrade, which means in terms of Calvin's, that's going to be 273 plus 100. So it's going to be two, uh, 373 Calvin's. So that is my new temperature. One thing for this equation I'm going to do is I had already calculated the number of moles. So I'm going to use these moles and I'm going to put those moles in this equation over here. So as you can see over here, I've uh, done exactly that. I've uh, I've substituted the value of N over here. And I'm using the same equation. The number of moles of gas before making the changes and after making the changes are exactly the same. So I'm now undergoing, uh, I've, I've substituted the value and I'm going to cancel things out. Now the one thing that's going to get cancelled out is this V on both sides. That would get cancelled out. Then this R over here is going to get cancelled out. So rewriting uh, the expression. Uh, we can bring this 4 from that side to this side. 
So my final expression for P is now going to be, so here's the expression, 1 times 10 power 5 divided by 293 into 373 and uh, divided by 4. That is going to give me the new pressure in terms of Pascal's. And after working on my calculator, the answer that I'm getting is coming out to be 3.18 into 10 to the power 4 Pascal's. So that would be my new pressure of the system.